In today's video, we are going to have a crack at creating the Indian flag using Python's Turtle module. As you can see, it's a fairly simple design in the background. We've got an orange rectangle up top, a white one through the middle, and a green rectangle down the bottom. The tricky part comes when we need to make the little chakra in the middle here. Okay, so let's have a crack at making it now. So jump over to Mew, start a new file, and we're going to write our first line of code that says from Turtle, import star. That's just saying we're going to import all the functions from the Turtle module, or the Turtle library. We're going to set our drawing speed today to zero, which is the quickest that um, the Turtle will draw at. And we're going to set up our page with the dimensions of 800 width and 500 pixels height. We're then going to move our turtle to the starting point. Okay, so to do that, we need to call the pen up function first to just lift our pen up off the page so it's not drawing anything yet. We'll then go to the coordinates, minus 400 for the x value and 250 for the y value. So we're starting up in the top left corner of the page. We'll then put our pen down, so use the pen down function for that, uh, ready for drawing. Now we're going to start today with the orange rectangle. So I'm going to just write orange rectangle as a comment there. And I'm going to change my color to orange. I'm going to begin the fill. And I'm going to move forward 800 pixels. Then I'm going to turn right 90 degrees. And then we're going to move forward 167 pixels. Then I'm going to turn right 90 degrees again and go forward 800 pixels one more time and then we can end our fill. That should have an orange rectangle drawn for us. Let's just save this file. I'll call this India flag. And we'll give it a run to see how it's looking so far. So the top of our flag looking good. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the green rectangle which goes at the bottom of the page. We're not going to worry about drawing the white rectangle. The background's already white, so we'll just leave a gap there in the middle for that. So let's put in a comment that says green rectangle. I'll just um, press enter a few times. So I've got a bit of space here. Now, um, to get down to the green rectangle, we probably should put in a few um, twists and turns here. So we're just going to Turn to the left 90 degrees and go forward 167 pixels. Okay, so now our turtle will be in position to draw that green rectangle. All right, so we're going to change our color to green. And we're going to begin the fill. From here, we're going to go forward 167 pixels. And then we'll turn left 90 degrees. We'll go forward 800 pixels. Turn left 90 degrees again, and then go forward 167 pixels there one last time before we end the fill. That should be our green rectangle done. Hopefully I've got that coded right, so let's test it. There we go. So I've got the background of the Indian flag looking good. What we need to do now is get into the tricky stuff and draw that little chakra. Okay, so this is where we need to get um, a little bit fancy. Okay, we're going to start with a big blue circle in the background. So I'm going to put a comment here and I'll write big blue circle. And in saying that, it's not that big, but it is the biggest of the blue circles we're drawing. OK, we're going to start by lifting our pen up off the page and moving to a new set of coordinates. So we're going to go to 70 for the x value and 0 for the y value. And that's where we're going to put our pen back down on the page. We'll change our color to navy, which is a darkish blue kind of color, so navy blue. We'll begin our fill, and we're simply going to draw a circle with a 70 pixel radius. Um, we'll just end the fill after that, and that should be our big blue circle drawn. So let's give that a run and see what we've got. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so moving on, let's keep going. Next thing I'm going to draw is the big white circle. Again, it's not a huge circle by any means, but it is the biggest um, white circle in the flag. Okay, so just put a comment there that says big white circle. And we're going to do something similar to before. We're going to lift our pen up and go to some new coordinates. So we're going to go to 60 for the X value and 0 for the Y. 
Um, on the next line, we'll put our pen back down. Whoops, pen down. And then we're going to change the color to white. Then we can begin our fill. Draw our circle, which is this time 60 pixels in diameter. Ah, radius, sorry. So it's a little bit smaller than the other one. And then we can end our fill. So that's going to go straight on top of the blue circle. If we give it a run, you'll see we've got our blue circle in the background and our white circle now going on top of that blue circle. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw some miniature blue circles to go around the outside of this white circle. So you can just see very carefully, uh, if you look very carefully, you can see these little blue bumps that go around the outside of that white circle. That's what I'm looking to draw in now. Okay, so it gets a little bit confusing. But bear with me. Uh, we're just going to call this mini blue circles. So they are the smallest ones we're going to be drawing. We're going to change our... Actually, no, we'll do the pen up first. We've got to go to a new set of coordinates. So call the pen up function. We're going to go to a specific set of coordinates here. Minus 57 and minus 8. And then we can put our pen back down on the page and change our color back to navy. All right, from here we need to do a loop that repeats the same piece of code 24 times, as there are 24 of those little bumps in the Indian flag. So let's create a for loop. It's going to be for i in range 24. Let me put a colon. That's just saying we're going to repeat the following code 24 times. So we begin the fill. So we turn our fill on. We draw a circle with a radius of 3 pixels. They're pretty small. And then we end our fill. After that, we lift our pen up. We go forward 15 pixels. We turn right 15 degrees. And then we put our pen back down, ready to draw the next circle. So that's our loop there. Turn the fill on, we draw a circle, turn the fill off, lift our pen up. We then move into the next position, and then that code will just loop back around to the start and repeat itself again. And that's going to repeat itself 24 times in total. Okay, so let's give that a test run and see if that actually works. Here we go, you can see your little bumps coming in around the circle now. Okay, so this chakra is starting to take a bit of shape now. All right, so that's the end of that loop. So what I'm going to do now is just move my mouse cursor back to the very left edge of the page. You'll notice that the code inside the loop has been indented. That just shows Python which code you want to repeat 24 times. Okay, when you're finished with repeating the code, you jump out of that loop by moving your mouse cursor back to the left-hand edge of the page. Now what we're going to draw is a small blue circle, smack bang in the center of everything. Okay, we're going to lift our pen up first and go to a new set of coordinates, which is just 20 for the X value and 0 for the Y. We'll put our pen back down on the page, and our color should already be navy, so I don't think I need to change it here. We'll begin the fill. We'll draw a circle that is 20 pixels in radius, and we'll end the fill. Let's just see if that works. Yep, that's looking good. All right, we haven't got much to go now. Um, we've got the spokes to draw in the chakra now, and then we should be done. So I'm going to put a hashtag here that says spokes, and we're going to lift our pen up once more, go to a new set of coordinates, which is a simple one, zero, zero. So smack bang in the middle of the flag. We will put our pen back down and we are going to change our pen size this time to two. That's the thickness of the line we're about to draw. Now we're going to do a loop here for I in range again and we're going to go back 24 times here. Okay, we've got 24 spokes that we need to add in uh, to this design. Make sure you put a colon at the end of that for loop. And when you press enter, you'll see your mouse cursor is indented. Again, this code that we're about to write is what's going to be repeated 24 times. So all we need to do is go forward 60 pixels, and then we're going to go backward 
60 pixels. Okay, so it draws one line and then goes back over itself. And then we're going to move to the left, I'll turn to the left, sorry, 15 degrees. Once we've done that, we should be finished. So I'm going to hide the turtle at the very end. That ought to do us for our Indian flag. So let's have a look. We'll give it a run. Happy days. We've got our Indian flag working and looking pretty good. Okay, so that's how you draw the Indian flag using Python's turtle module.